Understanding Circles, Part 1. Central and Inscribed Angle. Okay, welcome to uh, Gilisanya Engineering Videos, your daily supply of solutions to engineering problems. Again, if you like what you see, please don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon so that you'll be notified every time we have new uploaded videos. Okay, in this uh, video, we will discuss this problem. So we have a circle of unknown size, unknown radius, unknown diameter with two chords, intersecting chords, uh, AB and uh, CD. A, B, and C, D. The segment to the point of, it, of their intersection, we have for C, D, we have 10 and 15. And for A, B, we have 12 and an unknown distance X. Find the value of X. So that's what we'll be talking about. There is a formula for this. If somebody, some one of you knows this, then that's very easy. But that's not our point here. It's not yet, it's not only getting the answer. But knowing why, because we have so many things to know about here, to learn. And these are very useful, especially to engineers, engineering students. Okay, so let's start. Solve for the value of X. Solve for the value of X. Okay, so let's prove something here. So let's connect AC. And let's consider... AC and CD first. Okay, let's consider this first. Now, let's connect the three points ADC to the center of the circle. And let's call the center as O. And of course, these are the radius of the circles. R, R, R. So, what do we have here? So, notice that we have here isosceles triangles. Okay, notice this one. Triangle ACO or AOC. This is an isosceles triangle wherein two sides are equal. Isosceles. Okay? And if two sides are equal, the angles opposite to those equal sides are also equal. So this angle and that angle are also equal. And let's call them alpha. Angle alpha. Alpha and alpha. Then we can now solve this angle here at the center. So the angle at O, angle AOC. So that will be three, uh, 180 degrees because the sum of the angles of a triangle are always equal to 180 degrees. So this is 180 degrees minus 2 times alpha. All right. Now, let's consider the other triangle, DOC. So just like triangle AOC, this is also an isosceles triangle with two equal angles as sides. And the angles opposite the equal sides are also equal. Let's call these angles beta. Beta and beta. And we can solve this angle at the center. So this is equal to 180 degrees minus 2 times beta. Okay. Then we can now get this angle here all right take note that the sum of these three angles this one this angle and that angle is 360 degrees so therefore this angle let's call it gamma equals 360 degrees minus 180 minus 2 alpha minus the quantity 180 minus 2 beta all right you have this for your gamma Removing parentheses, it will become like this. Okay? Then 360, 180, 180 will cancel out, and that will become 2 alpha plus 2 beta. And factoring out 2, it will become gamma equals 2 times beta plus alpha. Okay. Now, but that alpha plus beta here, let's call them theta. Alpha plus beta. Alpha plus beta. Let's call it equal to theta. So therefore, gamma is equal to 2 times theta. That's very clear. So what do we have here? So this is the theorem, the principle, that if you have an arc AD, 
this is the arc AD. The angle of that arc from the center of the circle, we call it the central angle. That is your gamma. The angle subtended of that, by that arc from the center of the circle is gamma. And the angle subtended by that arc from the circumference of the circle anywhere on this white or white arc is called the inscribed angle. And the principle is the central angle is always double of the inscribed angle. Okay, so that's it. The central angle gamma is always double of the inscribed angle. Now, okay, it will not matter where this point is. Okay, look for example, if this point is here, B, then this angle is also equal to half of that angle. If this is theta, that is the described angle, always equal. They are always equal. Theta here, theta here. Always equal. Half of the central angle. Or even if that point is somewhere here, this is also theta. Or here, theta. Anywhere in that white arc, the angles subtended by the arc AD are always equal. Are all equal. Okay, I hope that is very clear. Now, let us use that principle to prove or to derive a formula here. Okay, now, going back to our problem. Now, let's consider this arc AD. So, the inscribed angle of that arc is this one. So, this is theta. And another is this one here. This is also equal to theta. Inscribed angle of arc AD. Now, let's go to the other opposite arc, BC. Okay? So, the inscribed angle of that one is this one. So, this is tau. Let's call it tau. And another is this one. So, this should also be tau. Okay. Then, what have you noticed? Now, this angle... And that angle equal. This angle and this angle are equal. And of course, the angle to the point of intersection at E, these two angles are also equal. We call them vertical angles. The angle opposite each other between two intersecting lines. We call it vertical angles. And obviously, they are always equal. So, if the three angles of these two triangles are equal, uh, alpha, uh, I mean, alpha, alpha, tau, tau, theta, theta, then these two triangles are similar. The angles of a triangle are equal, then the triangles are similar. Correct? So we can apply here ratio and proportion. But most students are confused with this kind of similar triangles because the orientations are di different. Uh? So to avoid confusion here, you do this one. Opposite, let's say, opposite of theta is to opposite of tau. Opposite of theta is to opposite of tau. Okay. So that you will not be confused on which triangles are proportional. Okay. In the upper triangle, opposite of theta is AE and opposite of tau is CE. So AE is to CE. In the lower triangle, opposite of theta is DE. And opposite of tau is BE. So D, uh, opposite letter. So that will be DE is to BE. All right? Clear? Okay. Then cross multiply. So you will have AE times BE is equal to CE times DE. And that is the principle. So therefore, if two parts of a circle intersect, the product of the segments to the point of intersection are equal. So meaning AE times BE equals CE times DE. That is very clear. Okay, so let's substitute the values. So we have AE is 12 and BE is X equals 15 times 10. So X equals 12.5 units. Alright. So, next time around, you can direct list that. But, I hope you learned a lot from this video regarding central angle and inscribed angle. Okay? So, I hope you learned a lot from this video. And, don't forget, uh, 
what's up for so other parts in geometry we'll be talking lots of uh, theorems we will be proving uh, lots of theorems principles uh, involving circles and arcs and chords also okay so thank you so much for watching so please don't forget to subscribe to our channel and click the bell icon so that you'll be notified every time we have new uploaded videos thank you so much